postman Pat, postman Pat, postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, postman Pat, postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure there'll be knock, ring. Letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really It was a lovely summer morning in Greendale. Pat had finished delivering the village letters. Morning, all. Morning, Pat. Hello, Pat. Just the weather to make the garden grow. What a day. Well, <laughs> seems to be growing in here. I've never seen so many flowers. Uh, Mrs Goggins. Morning, Pat. Mind your back. Hello, Sam. More flowers. There'll soon be no room for letters. I'll just put them here for the time being. Thanks, Sam. I hope I've not brought too many. Oh, Sam, we'll need a lot more if we're going to win the competition. No problem. There's plenty more. What's this competition you're on about? Oh, Pat, you must have heard about it. The best village competition, of course. So we'll have to do our best. I'm going to cover this old post office with flowers. I wondered what was going on. I never saw Greendale look so bright. I thought it was the nice weather. I suppose there'll be some judges coming to pick the winner. Yes, Pat, but nobody knows when they're coming. It'll be a surprise, like. Just to keep us on our toes. Bye for now. Bye. Cheerio. Well, I'd better get on with the post. Flowers or no flowers. Oh, Pat, when you call at Greendale Farm with that parcel, will you collect something for me? Mrs. Pottage promised me some tubs to put the flowers in outside the shop. I'll remember. Don't worry. No trouble. With all this sprucing up going on, I'll not be able to forget. Bye. Bye, Pat. Whoops. Oi, look out. Hello, Ted. What are you doing up there? Hello, Pat. Just giving the wall a spot of fresh paint. For this here competition. <laughs> it's grand stuff, this new paint. You can put it anywhere. Yes, I've noticed. Even the letterbox has come out in spots. Aye, it flies about a bit. It'll come off with a bit of a rub. I don't know about best village competition. I reckon they should call it the busiest village competition. Oh, my van. It's caught the measles. Oh, dear. No, I don't know how that's happened. It does look a bit sickly. You'd best take it to see a doctor. <laughs> it's your blooming paint. You're meant to paint the post office, not everything for miles around. It needs a drop of water to get it off. Drop in at my place and I'll give it a good hosing down. See you later, Pat. Bye. We'd better get a move on, then. Look 
at your nose, Jess. You'd better watch out. Ted will be giving you a hose down if he sees that. It was time for a quick wash. Pat went to Greendale Farm first to get the tubs. Oh, Pat, hello. Hello there. And to give Mrs. Pottage her parcel. Thank you, Pat. The tubs are just over there by the barn, Pat. But um, <clears throat> keep a watch out for any strange plants you might see. <laughs> there were some very odd blooms in the tubs. Goodness me, a greater flowering Katie <laughs> and a giggling Tom tree. What will Mrs. Pottage grow next? <laughs> Hello, Pat. We're talking plants as well. And we can help you put our tubs in your van. This one first. Well, it looks like it. I'd better take it to see Dr. Glenn. <laughs> He's good at curing spotty vans. Goodbye. Bye for now. Goodbye. Pat was on his way. He stopped at Ted Glenn. Looks as though Ted's ready for me. Hey, up, Pat. Hello, Ted. Hey, I thought you'd forgotten, Pat. I'll have to be quick. I've got to get down to Pencaster Station tomorrow to catch a train for Scotland. Where are you up to, Ted? It's young Caroline's wedding. Can't miss that. There's all sorts to do before I go. And I can't leave Mrs. Goggins with that hole in her roof. Anyway, I've got Peter Fogg lined up to give me a lift to the station on his motorbike. It'll be a day or two before I get back. And I don't want to leave the lorry down at the station. It might disappear. So I'll leave it in the village when I finish Mrs. Goggins' roof. Then you'll be able to keep an eye on it for me. Good idea, Ted. Have a good time at the wedding, and thanks for cleaning the van. Ta-da, Pat! Cheerio! The next day, the village was covered in flowers. There were tubs and flower pots in every street. Window boxes and baskets overflowing with plants. Flowers everywhere. Any time now, the judges would arrive to choose the best village. The next day, the phone rang in Pat's house. Hello? Yes? Oh. Are you sure? I mean, it is Ted's. Oh, you'd know it anywhere. Oh, what's it doing there? Just sitting there looking ugly. Oh, goodness. All that work making the village beautiful. I'll tell Pat. I'm sure he'll think of something. Yes, yes, right now. I'll tell him to hurry. Goodbye. Pat! Radio. Pat! And here is John to What's up? The Ted's left his lorry right by the village green. The judges for the competition are due any minute. It'll be the first thing they see. And all the flowers and work. It'll all go to waste. We'll ask him to move it. I expect he's gone to mend Mrs Goggins' roof. No, he's not at Mrs Goggins and nobody can find him. His workshop's locked and empty. Oh, now I remember. He's gone to Scotland. 
to Caroline's wedding. I meant to tell you, he'll be gone for a few days. I'd better go and see what I can do. Good luck, Pat. Bye. Bye. There the lorry was, just as Sarah had said, with Peter Fogg and Mr Pringle scratching their heads. They had tried to move the lorry, but the thing would not budge an inch. Oh, what a pity! Right by the village green. The judges simply cannot miss it. What's all this? What's going on? Peter Fogg and Mr Pringle explained to PC Selby about the lorry and the judges. Parking is allowed here. Quite legal. Can't do anything to move it. Uh, where's Pat? He might think of something. Pat had met Major Forbes at the post office, and he was telling him what had happened. Tell you what, uh, sort of thing we did in my army days. We'd cover it up, Ooh, hide it, camouflage, that's the word. Right, let's start. By the left, quick march. Alf came with his tractor and trailer to give a hand. And Peter Fogg loaded it with more flowers. Right you are, Alf. Pots and shrubs. Ooh, off you go. They all helped. Miss Hubbard was there. Dorothy Thompson found some big sheets of green cloth with pretend grass. Then the shrubs arrived. Well done, everybody. Keep it up. First the sides of the lorry were let down, then they covered it with the imitation grass, put the shrubs on together with some flower pots, and with a bit of fencing in front, it looked like a garden. The phones were ringing again, all over green there. What? We have? Miss Hubbard, we've won! Won? Did you say we've won? The best village competition? Lord bless us! What wonderful news! Well, twins, our tubs must have helped. We've won after all! Hooray! Yippee! I knew we could do it! Well, isn't that just marvellous news, Pat? That'll put Garner Bridge on the front page of the Pencaster Gazette. <laughs> I hear that the judges like, best of all, the special hillock covered with lovely flowers. Now, I never knew we had any such hillock in the village. Well, it won't be there for long, so you'd better get a good look at it. Yes, the judges couldn't believe their eyes. They came back twice to have another look. A day to remember. <laughs> it certainly was. Has anybody seen my lorry? I left it in the village before I went to Scotland and, well, I don't seem able to find it now. There's a mystery for you, PC Selby. Ted's lost his lorry. <laughs> uh, no, uh, nobody seems to, to have found a lorry. <laughs> uh, all I've heard <laughs> is about flower, flowers, <laughs> bushes and flowers, lots of them. <laughs> Will somebody tell me what the joke is? <laughs> Turned a lorry into a bunch of flowers. Oh, <laughs> they what? <laughs> Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat.